Hello, you. Welcome to this video, and I'd like to say a quick thank you to EA for giving us early access to The Sims 4 Cottage Living. Just as a reminder, this is a beta version. I know I do this spiel every single time, but it's because I have to let you guys know that it's not the final edition. So if there's any funny business going on, or there are a few things that might change in the future, that's why. And also my name dots around the screen, but hopefully you guys aren't too bothered by that. Anyway, I'm in my hoodie because it's like late at night right now. So get comfy, get a drink, get a snack. Let's get into it. Welcome to our new house. We have moved in. We have bunny rabbits now. I mean, we've come quite a long way since when we started. And we're making some serious money and some serious crops. Look at these. Look at our chickens. Tartan is somehow still alive. I don't know. And we have lettuce crops, pumpkin crops, and these, which I think they're gonna be a giant aubergine, which is very exciting. We also need to clean out our shed, so I think Meadow is gonna head off and do that now. Ooh, I've never watched the interaction of cleaning this shed before. Oh, I'm seeing hay be, oh. And I I'm just seeing hay, uh, not a whole lot else, but I think something's happening in here. <laughs> Dancing hay, that's cool. Oh, it looks like, um, He's going for a jog, good stuff. But yeah, anyway, back to this. I don't know, I was really like into watching the shed be cleaned. So, this is the new balcony. We've added an extension to the house. Very cool. I don't know, I just felt like we had so much money, we may as well use it. And oh, Rashida's here again. Remember she has a crush on Meadow's brother? It's a little bit awkward, but um, I guess it's cute. It's nice that she likes us, you know? So this is the um, like dining area, kitchen area. And then through here was a very tight lounge room, but it's had a little bit of an extension, which is great because there's a couple of extra windows in here. And if you go down this little corridor, we have an extra bedroom. Yay! So this is Huck's bedroom. Very nice. And it's also got French doors onto the patio, very fancy. This is a spare room, and honestly, I would pick this room 100% because you can see the llama outside. I mean, heck yeah. We also need to clean out uh, llama ramen because it kind of rhymes with llama. That's where we got the name from. Yikes. And then if we go upstairs, um, there's a bit of a roofing issue. Just ignore that. We have a typewriter over here. How gorgeous is our typewriter? Oh, I love it. And then in here, this is Meadow's room. So Meadow gets uh, this beautiful like princess balcony. Very cute, gorgeous view outside. So yeah, they're pretty much like having the best time living their life, except for in the last part, the guy Meadow was kind of attracted to. Meadow is not really attracted to many Sims. Um, so it was kind of a big deal that she was becoming close to, what's his name, Michael? And she's still really close with Michael, but he, gave us mushrooms that, how do I say this? The mushrooms were trippy. They were trippy mushrooms. And I, I mean, we can give him the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what, he didn't mean to. And it was just like accidental mushroom mash. But I don't know, I feel like that's some funky mash. And I think he is not the creature keeper. He is the creature creeper, okay? You heard it here first. Rashida's like, hey, how are you? I didn't like hear from you yesterday. Is everything okay? Oh my God, he's here. She's like, uh, um, yeah, everything's fine. I'm fine. I'm just, you know, hanging out with my llama ramen. Uh, I didn't know about this guy. Like, I feel like we should stay away from him. If anything, Hawk should tell him to go away. It's so hard because all of this is pre-recorded. Usually I ask you guys for advice. I'd be like, hey, what do you think? Do you think we should stay with this guy? But I have to make this decision up myself. What would you guys think? I feel like you guys would tell me not to pursue this guy. Also, he kind of has something going on with someone else in the village. So maybe we just back away from him. Um, Even the way he just walks towards us is kind of creepy. He's like, hi. <laughs> Okay, decision made. He's a friend, but that's all. That's all. Creepy friend, that's all. And I feel like Rashida's like, uh, dude, do not hang out with this guy. Don't you know the stories about him and his mushroom mash? 
I used to know a fox named Mabel. She was such a m miscreant. Always chasing chickens and stealing eggs. Normal fox behavior, really, but she seemed to especially enjoy it. She once stole a golden egg from a man from Old New Hanford just to watch him cry. Okay, then. Actually, funnily enough, I think as we have a llama now, if we do the new lot challenges, so we, we want simple living, actually. I forgot to turn that on. We could also turn on wild foxes now that we have a llama because the llamas like spit on them so they don't attack your hens, apparently. So we could do that. And I mean, I'm seeing foxes around us anyway. And then another thing I thought we could do is maybe... Oh my gosh, I'm not used to having so little lot traits because I'm a spoiled Sims brat who has all the packs usually. Well, I guess environment to exercise, fast internet, natural light, painting is easier. Well, that's good because we were wanting to do some painting. Homey helps cooking and gardening. So we love that as well. And practicing charisma, comedy and mischief. I don't know, I guess charisma is helpful. But yeah, we can, we can see if our llama does a good job. Speaking of which, ramen does need a good, um, a good brush. Also, Meadow needs a little bit of help too. So let's shear ramen's wool. Uh, let's feed ramen in case ramen is, uh, oh no, he's full. He doesn't need to be fed, but he is unhappy probably because he's dirty and needs a little bit of attention. So we'll pet him. Also, that's the other thing. We need to make some more pet treats. Ooh. Llama wool. Walter would make a good llama name, don't you think? I mean, his name's Ramen, so yeah. Shearing a white llama reduces the cost of certain cross-stitch patterns, can also be traded to the creature keeper in the bramble wood for animal clothing. Okay, well, that's cool, I guess. Now, in terms of treats, hmm, what treats can we make? Wait, no, that's not right. Create animal treats. So Huck can only make the friendly treat. I think maybe Meadow knows how to make some other treats. Ooh, spicy treat. Like I have no idea what the spicy treat does, but we can, we can find out. Oh wait, we can actually see what it does when we hover over it. Animals that eat this treat will produce obsidian eggs. <gasps> okay, we need, to, we need to make those. Meadow, Meadow. Okay, I also want to check the calendar because tomorrow is the fair because it's every Saturday. So there is a cow competition. Unfortunately, we don't have a cow at this stage. Milk competition. We don't have milk. Hmm. Purchase unique items. I forgot to check for unique items the other day when we had the fair and win ribbons. Should we like get a cow just because there's a fair coming up? I mean, we do have the cash to do it. So the question is, do we have the space? Oh my gosh, it's almost like we need to live on a bigger lot. How much is an animal shed for starters? 500 simoleons, cheap as chips if you ask me. And we can get it, like we have the old one that was originally on the property, but maybe we can make this like, a cute brighter one so it looks a little bit newer. I like that one. It's a bit of a nuance. Actually, this is really embarrassing, but am I the only one who doesn't understand what the word nuances means? Like, I kind of get it. It's like, you know, you, you get all the nuances, like the little tidbits, the vibes. I don't really understand the word. And sometimes I just wonder like, why? Why is it so hard to understand the word nuance? Okay, let's get a brown cow or a black cow. Let's get a brown cow. 400 simoleons. Gosh, I didn't think it'd cost that much. <gasps> Hello, you are gonna be <sighs> just to die for. Um, receive Finchwick favor. If this is his mush, I don't know, this guy's like, giving his gifts to everyone. Like, what did he give us this time? Cottage pie. That is that is actually really nice, but Huck's like, dude, this guy is kind of weird. Are you sure, like, you want to hang out with him? And she can tell him, well, I did eat some of his mushroom mash and I felt a little funny. He's like, what do you mean? And he's like, 
Why are you telling your brother about that? Don't tell him! And you know what? I think Hawk would not like this guy. I think he would, like, tell him to go away and be like, stay away from my sister, you creep. That's what I think he would do, because he's a protective brother. He's like, dude, get out of our house. I feel like Meadow would also be a little bit embarrassed, so she would be like, um... At first, she'd be angry, so I feel like she should yell at her brother and be like, you shouldn't have been so mean to him, you know? But I think in the future, like after she's had a little bit of time to cool off from the embarrassment, she'd realize that, well, you know, like, thank you. She's like, dude, like, don't be mean to him. Oh my gosh, he's come back again, dude. <gasps> oh my gosh, what? This guy is so manipulative. Huck's like, bring it outside. What did he give her? More of these mushrooms? Is that what he gave her? I'm actually not, not entirely sure which one he gave her, but he might have given... Oh my gosh, what? He's being such a creep. Michael. Okay, we got to tell him to leave. He's gonna get really stern with him, you know? Like, get out of my house. I already told you to leave. You know, you are not welcome here. Your mama is a llama. Just like the one we have, except ramen is way cooler than you. So these guys are just, these guys are not gonna get along at all. He's like, get out of here, dude. Leave, get out of my room. Why are you in my room? I'm definitely not begging for forgiveness. <gasps> Fight. He's like, I know what you did to my sister. I wish we could send like an angry crow after him. Puck is getting into his first fight. Oh my gosh. And she's in the shower. So she like literally has no idea what's going on. <gasps> wow, this escalated quickly. But I mean, he literally drugged our Sam. You know, our little sister. Oh no, and now we despise each other and we're dazed. Good lord. So yeah, Michael despised. And we also have a grudging after a fight. They have some unfinished business. This conflict is unresolved and tensions are high, at least from Huck's perspective. And Michael feels wronged by Huck and being around Huck will remind Michael of that pain. Oh, come on, Michael. You, I mean, you can't go around giving young girls mush in the forest, young girls who are interested in you. You know? Anyway. Oh, no, 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 I am not helping you with errands. <laughs> no. Oh, good lord. Okay, I think what we need to do is like, give some attention to this cow while we're dazed. Um, hello, cow. How now, brown cow? Uh, that's a saying my dad always said. I don't know why. How now, brown cow? Let's call it. Jerry. Wait, Miller has the treats, right? Oh yeah, we can give a spicy treat. And I think it's gonna turn the cow red. And then we can milk Jerry and get like spicy milk maybe. Come on, Metter. Oh, heck yeah, Jerry. I'm gonna give you some spicy taco. Are you gonna turn red? Hello? I don't think it worked. Francis is getting on in years. Gather lactose from Jerry. <gasps> Dress Jerry! Heck yeah. I mean, even though, wait, cows are girls, so it doesn't matter. How come this didn't work? I thought, I thought it would make him like a different color. Hmm, maybe just the milk is red. Let's see. Consider ethics of sim fighting. Oh no. Okay, maybe we should get something to eat and you should, you know, Huck, maybe you should have a shower. Actually, we have all of these things to harvest. Let's harvest these while we can. Are the lettuces ready? Oh, is this finished? No, this still isn't ready to pick. Thank God, because I was going to say like, oh. She can also harvest these. Those are still growing as well. What have we got over here? Let's just harvest everything that's out here. TBH. Oh, she did get red milk. Oh, she got information about fire milk. 
Okay, so the cow doesn't turn red, but the milk they produce is red, which means the eggs probably are the color of the treat you give the chickens, and the wool is the color of the llama. I mean, the llama turns the color of the treat. I get it now. It's move caliente, feed a cow spicy treat, and they'll provide fire milk when milked. Happier cows provide higher quality. Drinking fire milk is hot going down and even hotter when coming back up. Oh. Oh, good lord. 156 simoleons. Jeez, cows are pretty good for money. I don't know. Oh, also, we need to think about country caretaker aspiration. Fertilize three plants. We've done two. Uh, what's another plant we can fertilize? I think we've fertilized like all of these. Can we fertilize this one? Purchase, fertilize crop. Purchase the fertilizer. Okay, let's get this. Because we want this to grow so big. Fertilize the crop. There we go. I didn't actually see how much that cost either. either. Okay, let's fertilize this. Woo! Okay, now we're up to the next option, which Huck is also up to. Cool. Well, let's get these guys into bed. You know, it's been a very exciting day. Oh, I love how they have their old paintings from their grandpa. I'm also, you know, I don't know if you guys are getting this, but every time I look at this range hood, I think it's burnt to a crisp. So like, I feel like there's been a fire and now it's charcoal black. So I'm just gonna change it to yellow to go with the rest of the kitchen. Um, and then this is, this is like their first time in their new bedrooms since we've been filming. Yay, how exciting. And I love this little mushroom stool, super duper cute. All right, well, I will resume in the morning. Okay, it is 5.30 in the morning, people. It's time to rise and shine. Wait, let's get a beautiful image of the sun rising onto our beautiful house. Look at, oh no, the tree's in the way. Look at that. This is our beautiful farmhouse. Look at our cow. He looks so cute, but he also looks so dirty right now. So we need to get up. We need to have breakfast. We need to get to work on the farm. Oh, <gasps> Buttercup has grown up into a hen. Are you serious? Which one's Buttercup? Where is Buttercup? Oh my gosh, this still hasn't finished growing. Are you kidding me? It's been like a week. Where's, is this Buttercup? Oh my Lord, look at Buttercup. We need to get you some clothes. Oh no, this one's starving. I was gonna say we have to go to Michael to get clothes, which is super annoying. And Hawks like, Probably not gonna be able to get clothes from him, so. Mm. Oh, hello. Let's name this little one Clover. Good one. Another six bottles of milk. We love that. Socialize with this little one. Uh, we really do want Jerry to look amazing, okay? Because Jerry is gonna have to win today. Well, our garden really is flourishing. Oh, this one's getting away. What is, what is little Buttercup doing? Oh my God. There's a fox. There's a fox. What is this fox doing? Is the llama gonna get the fox? Ramen, get the fox. If we build up a relationship with MJ the fox, we can actually stop MJ from, from coming to our farm. Okay, let's maybe uh, give gift or something. Let's try giving our homework to the fox. Maybe the fox is into doing homework. Hey, that's my mushroom. Hey, oh. Is its mouth like always gonna be open? <laughs> I think that's a glitch maybe. What is this? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Hey, what are you, is that for us? I don't even know what that is. Let's, I'm just gonna try and make friends with this fox. Okay, it didn't like the book. It's like, wow, you're such a good singer. <laughs> oh, okay, that's cute. And the birds are around us as well. We just became acquaintances. Okay, the mouth thing is definitely, definitely an issue. <laughs> it has a little bit of a jaw issue. Oh, all the birds. Oh my gosh, Tartan, how are you still alive? Like, seriously? 
Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell all of our roses. You know, we can probably sell like all of everything, right? Okay, are we at a point where we can tell them not to steal? Not, not yet. Is it even liking our singing? Oh, I feel like it is. <gasps> it really liked, it really liked our singing. Okay, we have too many rose bushes. We, we're making too much money. Oh, <gasps> we just became friends with the fox. Heck yeah. And we still can't ask them not to steal. <sighs> okay, so we're making like $8,000 a day, $10,000 a day. It's, I, we're gonna have to get rid of some of our roses. Guys, look how high up our relationship is with MJ. Let's ask MJ not to steal. <gasps> Ramen has been unhappy. Oh my gosh, and we'll soon leave to seek a new home, never to return. However, ramen will stay if the gardeners can provide food, cleaning, and attention, the basics of a good life. We like didn't pay attention to ramen for half a day. Okay, okay. We need to we need to prioritize ramen, because ramen's really ramen's not happy, you guys. Um and an unhappy ramen is an unhappy life. Okay, Ramen, we're here. We're here with you, everything's gonna be okay. Let's give you a clean, give you some food, give you some attention. God, he sounds like a uh, Chewbacca. <laughs> he really does. Do you reckon that sounds like Chewy? Is that actually what llamas sound like? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, because we have so much money, we can just replace this. That's epic. Oh, we can probably afford a cleaner to clean to clean the house, which would be nice too. Heck yeah. Holy baubles, look at these eggplants. Oh, look at how big that is. Now I hear this big eggplant is a big source of vitamin D. We're gonna keep making that jerk every time we have big eggplants. What is the quality of this? Status healthy. Like I don't need 650 simoleons. I guess we need to harvest this, but I don't want it to spoil. Do vegetables spoil? I don't even know. You know, the other thing I was thinking we could maybe do is hire a gardener for a little while just so we get to know our chickens and keep everyone really happy. Is this MJ? MJ, hey. Let's plead with MJ to stop. MJ, we're really good friends and I just don't want you going after these chicken eggs, okay? I've asked you nicely not to steal things, so if you could please obey that, that would be great. Also ask you not to steal again. I don't know if that went down so well. I don't think MJ likes us very much. We can give you a gift. We can, you know what? What happens if we give you one egg? Do you, oh, we have a rainbow egg. What the heck? When did that happen? I, what? A rainbow egg? What do rainbow eggs do? Oh my gosh. It's worth 150 simoleons. Egg seven ways. Make by having chickens that are very happy. Oh, so we must have had a really happy chicken. Or you can feed a hen a rainbow treat and the next egg they lay will be rainbow. Rainbow eggs are used to create the rainbow treat. Oh, okay, so we can make, we can use this to make more rainbow eggs. Is that all you can use them for? Okay, we need to, we need to do something with this. Create animal treats. Wait, oh no, we don't know the recipe. Oh no. Okay, also I wanna see if we give the llama a, green treat. I think it'll turn it green. Okay, you ready for this? Hey, we have a green llama. That is so cool. That is so cool. Oh no, we're not ready to shear ramen yet. Hmm. Our timing of that may not have been great or ideal. This is so cool having like a llama that can camouflage itself. Oh, hold on, hold on, wait. Guys, they're like exactly the same. It's a leaf llama and a grass llama. Look at them. <laughs> Love it. Okay, I'm just gonna give maybe some treats to these guys. 
uh, you know, just keep them happy. And maybe we should plant some more herbicized crops. Lovely mushroom. Mm, this fungi gives a sim a flirtatious feeling after con being consumed. That would actually be good to grow, but I don't think... Do we want to grow them in these patches? Hmm. Oh, yeah, why not? <gasps> the fair's ready. Okay, I need to put the cow in our pocket. <laughs> like, we need to... How do we... Jerry, how do we take you to the fair? <gasps> put in inventory! Okay, I don't know how we carry this Jerry around, but we're gonna give it our best shot. Jerry, you're gonna be a winner! Jerry, you're gonna be a star! Yeah, that's right, Jerry. Oh, okay, that's how we put Jerry in our pocket. Awesome. We've got the milk. We've got Jerry. Oh, and we actually have an outfit for the fox. Yes, hey, 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 MJ. Um, please don't, can you? Hey, I've asked you so many times to not do that. Oh, Floof just aged up too. All right, guys, well, we've, we've got to go to the fair and we actually have to travel to the fair now. Oh no, all of our chickens are dirty. Okay, we're at the fair now. I need a display Jerry. Submit entry. Here we go. Jerry's going to stand right here. Oh, look at these. Very cool. Now, what is this? Oh, we can submit our milk entry there. And I'm actually wondering if we give Huck some milk as well. We can enter um, a little bit of milk there. Submit Jerry. Now, why does Jerry remind me of a cow? Oh, Jersey, like Jersey milk, Jerry, that's why. <laughs> that would be why. Pumpkin spice milk, oh, the quality is, what is the quality? Normal, rarity is common. <laughs> um, wow. What is ours? Uh, quality, excellent. Mm -hmm. Rarity, uncommon. Who do you think's gonna win? Us, thank you. Look at our flaming milk. Heck yeah. I kind of want to drink it to see what happens. Oh, we have a lot of roses to sell for like $4,000. We are making way too much money. Also, this does not look like a bottle of milk. Like what? This is this is a poor bottle of milk. That is so true. Oh dear. Oh, sentiment gained. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more. Oh, well, maybe Meadows, like, actually realizing that her brother was helping her with the Michael stuff and standing up for her. So, I'm just gonna give him some compliments, share personal goals. She's like, I'm really gonna focus on myself. I do not need no man. I don't even know why I was interested in him. He's such, like, he's, he's pretty creepy. Oh, well, if it isn't Mrs. Grimplebottom. So apparently we can buy a mystery box. Love that. We can sell items for a 10% profit. Love that. And we can also try and buy some garden shop items too. But at these fairs, apparently you can get some more rare items. So I say we get a few mystery boxes and we sell a few things and we check out a few grocery items. Okay, so if we want to sell items, I don't know, let's sell some blueberries, let's sell some milk. Also, they really need to add like a way to type into these boxes the amount you're trying to sell because my finger gets really tired, although it is quite good for finger exercises. Medium lettuce, I mean, do we want to sell our lettuces? I feel like we should keep them because for a lot of these like errands that we're trying to run, they might be handy. And I'm gonna keep all of our fertilizers too. <gasps> the wool. Yeah, so actually, no, we don't need to sell our wool. Let's keep the wool. Okay, anything that we can buy. Or oh, bougine conserve. I'd say we just get some conserve. Oh, brown llama wool, yes. Charming mushroom conserve. I got a couple of those. Cherries are a little bit unusual. We don't have a cherry tree. <gasps> flirty treat. Now, if we buy these flirty and fruity treats, we can actually learn the recipes, I think, to make those treats later on. So we should definitely do that. Oh, we've got a large cross-stitch hoop. <gasps> oh, herb, we need herb. You know what? I'm just, I'm getting a lot of stuff. 
Okay, we, we got a lot. <laughs> we spent... I don't even know how much we spent, but we spent a lot. <gasps> chocolate egg. Actually, I think we've made chocolate eggs before. Oversized aubergines. Rainbow eggs. Oh, wait, no. These are to sell items. <laughs> these are the items we already have. Oh, jeez. We do not want to sell that rainbow egg. So I will definitely untick that in just a second. We have so many choco berries. Oh my goodness. Don't want to sell our oversized aubergines. I was going to say like, what? We just grew some. Why did, can we buy some? I'm going to get rid of all the mushrooms in the game. The mushrooms scare me. I just made a cool, cool 500 bucks. Okay. These are the things we can buy. Blue egg. Interesting. Oh! <gasps> Golden honey milk, pure decadence. A touch of gold makes this milk a precious commodity. It's a $150 bottle of milk. Y'all, that's a lot. <gasps> rainbow milk. Why are there so many milks that are rainbow? It's delicious, colorful, and put any sim in a playful mood. Okay, we definitely need that. I want the rainbow treats though. I want to make a rainbow llama. Apparently you can also like send off your animals to be mate. So um, I don't know how I feel about that, but apparently that's the thing. So what's this flirty mushroom? So this will make us flirty if we eat it. Oh, <gasps> the mystery box, you guys. Let's open it. What did we get? Oh God, there's so many new things. I don't even know. Cooking volume three? I mean, that's handy. I don't think there was anything that good in the mystery box. We got a bonsai bud. Are you serious? That's we paid a hundred dollars for a bonsai bud. It's a total rip off. Let's try more. What? Now they've shut. <laughs> they shut just in time, so we can't complain about our crappy gift. Oh, honey, we left you all alone over here. Let's give Jerry a clean. We better milk Jerry as well. Milk him whilst he's performing, you know. It's all right, Jerry. We won't forget it about you. Ah, look at those others go. Love it. It looks like we're the only entry for cows. Oh, wait, no, there's this cow. Who is this? Fine, clean, full. Well, Alan's very happy, not fine. I feel like we need to give that one a little bit of attention too. And if we look at the milk stand, like, come on, this is definitely the coolest milk by far. I mean, I don't even know what that is. And we already looked through this chocolate one and obviously Hux wasn't that amazing either. Like this has to win. Okay, final call for entries because the festival will finish in one hour. Last time there must have been a mystery entry because we lost. And I feel like today we're getting the blue ribbon. If not a blue ribbon, we're definitely getting a red ribbon, a second place, if that's a thing. Huck's chatting away to all his friends here. Huck's become so outgoing. Oh, Shay likes cooking. That's good to know. What kind of things do you like to cook, Shay? What do you like to cook, Shay? Who's this guy? Oh, the grocery. Rahul. Oh, yeah, we're friends with Rahul as well. Huck seems to thrive on shock and the rage of others. Is it time to admit that he likes mischief? Is he a mischievous little muffin? Okay. I just don't want him to upset other Sims by liking mischief, you know what I mean? He seems to definitely be getting along with Shay really well. I mean, Shay's pretty cute. I don't blame Huck if he's like wanting to talk to him a lot. Maybe you guys should get something to eat. Why don't you, uh, why don't you order some beef Wellington? Oh, and Meadow's really tired as well. Can we hurry up and figure out if we won this thing? We better have won this thing. This is a nice outfit, Caitlin. I'm gonna say hello to you. Oh, what happened? One animal party treat and a participation milk competition? Excuse me? How did our milk not win? How did our milk not win? How did our milk not win? That's ridiculous. The milk you entered just didn't shake the judge to be the winner. What do you mean? Although we did get a rainbow treat, which is awesome because we know how to make them now. Oh, yes! Yes, we got first place cow comp. 
competition ribbon. Yes! Oh, Jerry, you won first place at the Finchwick Fair. Oh, Jerry, you are amazing. Jerry, 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 Jerry. Oh my gosh, first place cow competition ribbon. I'm so proud of him. We are definitely gonna get Jerry like the most beautiful cow outfit. He's, he is a like show cow. Amazing. Yes, I'm so competitive at this. Uh, guys, I don't want to freak anyone out, but where's Jerry? Where's Jerry? Oh, God. What? Wait, where's Jerry? Are you telling me that my cow won the competition, so they took my... They took Jerry away? How could they do that? How can they take my... How can they take my award-winning cow away? Where is Jerry? He was gonna go on to win all the cow competitions. Is it because we forgot to collect him before the end of the fair? I am so upset. I am, I'm crushed. Is that what these animal shows are really about? Taking your animal afterwards? Is this just a sick way to get good cow meat? Jerry. <laughs> We didn't even get to take Jerry to get new clothes. So sad. It's just an empty shed. Well guys, I think I'll end this part right here. I just would like to ask you to hold Jerry in your hearts and hope that wherever Jerry is, he's living a good life and having a good time. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, and evening, or wherever you are in the world. Peace and love to Jerry. Namaste.